Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, Yunus Shafiri is here and in this video we are going to see how extension functions works under the hood. Let's get started. So here I'm having a simple extension function like checking if the string has only digits. So we are using this all and it's not empty as part of the string. So it's not empty, we'll check if it's not empty. And like all, we'll check if all digits are true. Like this predicate is true for all kinds. So, so this will give us true or false based on that. So we are interesting on how this is digit only is working at the hood. Now the way we are calling that, it's like it is part of the target class. It's part of the string, but it is not. If you go to the official documentation of .NET, like here you will see that extension function are resolved statically. So what does it mean? Now if you go to the tools here, go to the .NET and check the decompile code, like decompile it here, you will see the following. Like we are having here like this is digit only. And as you can see, it is taking one, two, three as a parameter. So where this it is only, it is a static final method that returns a Boolean, accept the string, and do what we are what we were doing like here. So this is the Java version of our code here. So this is exactly what it is doing. It is creating a static class. It is just a helper function or utility function to do same things. So, so it is static, okay, and we are calling. And since we are calling it here, it is just part of this class. If we, like, for example, we do it a lot in Android, like we create several extension functions. So we do like this string extension, like the following. We keep all string extension here. We do view extensions and so on. So here, this will work just fine. If you decompile this one, you will see that it is calling a class called string extension kt. If you go to this class and decompile it also, you see it is just a final class and it contains a final method. So it is normal as utility classes that use that serve the purpose for utility functions. No more than that. It is not changing the target class of string or toast or view of or whatever extension you are doing. So Kotlin used this trick in order to make our code and life easier. Like this one is pretty simple, pretty good. Like we don't have to create ourselves this utility classes and put methods there. Well, you can do that, but using extension function is much better. But I just wanted you to know what is happening internally. It is merely a simple static function that we do static call here. As you can see, this is a static call for the method. So this is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always, and see you in the next videos. Bye.